Because if the essence of the most heinous lie is that there was no wisdom attached to African cultures, we cannot define the lie if we don't define the lie of absence of African cultural wisdom. So we have to claim that because that has been the essence of the lie. And it is insidious. It is destructive. It undermines and eats away like acid all things that we believe true and possible about ourselves and the people to whom we belong. And so the action then says, I make a deep and honest examination of the effect of the lie on my life. Now, that's not a simple request. It's not a superficial representational request. That's the one where you have to come clean about the ways in which you've been damaged, the ways you are being damaged, and the ways in which you are hard pressed to own up to the ways in which you're damaged. Because we can't do healing if we deny that we have illness, sickness, infection. Right? So we gotta we gotta open the infection up. We gotta open it to the healing rays of the sun. Right? We gotta do that. That's hard work. So we're gonna have to spend time there. But the commitment says that I make an honest and deep examination. It should say effects, and it should say the lies. <laughs> because it, it is multifaceted, and we have to look at it that way. Which leads us then to the fourth key. We make an honest and fearless assessment of our character and choices that limit our community and our relationships with others. I read the Stephen Biko quote. 